An art professor at CU is coming together for Colorado and the world. He's traveling to Korea this month with an exhibition of more than 100 pieces of art. Each one symbolizes the conflict between North and South Korea. Kathy Walsh joins us now tonight, and this is certainly art with a purpose. Uh huh. 117 pieces, all eight and a half by 11, this size. George Rivera and his collective address global issues. They shed light on social injustice in an effort to spark social change. Two different places: war and peace, dictatorship and democracy. It is one artist's story of the division between North and South Korea. Dr. George Rivera has a stack of photos, drawings, and paintings. Pairs, the CU Boulder professor says, all symbolize the tension on the Korean peninsula. This has something to do with the Korean War and its aftermath. The art is the work of a group started by Rivera in 1996. All have a CU connection. They're the art knots, not art as usual. Like astronauts, these artists venture into the unknown. Rivera has taken their message of social injustice to 15 countries. This exhibition, I think, will generate discussion around really the inhumanity that exists in the world. All of the artwork fits into a suitcase, easier to carry and get through customs. This show is called Liminal Space, the space between two thresholds. The art will hang in a museum in Korea's demilitarized zone, the boundary between North and South. I want them to take away that barriers, any barriers that exist or boundaries that exist, don't have to be there between human beings. And Rivera yeah, hopes fine. people will see hope. Art by itself does not change the world, but it changes people who can change the world. To Rivera, every one of the 117 pieces of art speaks volumes. He hopes that starts a dialogue for social change. The exhibition will run from June 22nd through December. Certainly powerful, that's for sure. Thanks, mm -hmm. Kathy.